Um, but no, the, 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 the great gorilla run has become something of a, a London institution. Yes. Where once a year, several hundred people dressed in gorilla suits run through the city of London yeah. and across Tower Bridge and past landmarks. The tourists are there taking a photo and wondering why yeah. <laughs> all these gorillas are running back. <laughs> So it is a very bizarre but very successful fundraising yeah. effort, and it's such fun. Yeah. So lots of people, have, and some people have done it almost every year yeah. since, since the beginning. It's uh, so it's and ridiculous. there are other runs where other species are represented, and, yes. and like the London Marathon, you might see an orangutan or a gorilla or yeah. a rhino yeah. costume running by. Yeah. Uh, but the great gorilla run is just gorilla. It's the focal point. But the gorilla costume is just the basis of the fancy dress. Because they're not just gorillas. The gorillas wearing tutus or three-piece suits right. or uh, outlandish costumes, very inventive, some of them. Yes. So it's, it's a real carnival atmosphere. Yes. And it's just eight, eight kilometers, five miles. Five so miles. anyone who's used to running, um, it's not too big a challenge. And you can walk as well. I mean, presumably the whole point is just getting round. It's getting, it? getting round and yeah. raising money yeah. and raising awareness for the, the gorilla organization. Uh, uh, we, we really encourage people to, yeah. to come along as teams, yeah. uh, groups. Groups of gorillas should be traveling around. And when I first did it in 2009, I, I was asked to be the um, ambassador for the United Nations Year of the Gorilla. And, and I did that and did the run that year. But when I wear an ape costume, I, I feel compelled to behave in a species-specific way. <laughs> and gorillas don't wear running shoes and run bipedally. Um, so I knuckle-walked it. Um, and and mm. I didn't wear shoes. Uh, I, I got some food. Um, colouring and, and blacked up my feet yeah. um, and, and ran barefoot or knuckle walked it barefoot. Wow. Uh, the one thing I didn't realise was that uh, oh, I knew that you get very hot in a gorilla suit, yeah. um, which means that you're sweating. And the gloves that came with that gorilla suit were basically like thick rubber gloves. So my gloves filled up with sweat and I kind of got trench foot of the knuckles and over the next couple of weeks the knuckles came off. <laughs> Because the, the skin had been so wet and so yeah. pounded by knuckle walking the London pavements. Mm. Um, but then that knuckle walking um, five miles was rather overshadowed um, by Mr. Gorilla, um, the uh, London policeman who um, knuckle walked the London Marathon and arrived six days later at the finishing line where there wasn't a fin finishing line, so we had to set it up for him to um, congratulate him on his success. So. Yes, this year I and Mr. Gorilla and a few other fools are going to knuckle walk the Great Gorilla Run, and we encourage anyone yes. with an interest in, in gorillas or just doing crazy things for a good cause um, to sign up. Uh, you get to keep the gorilla suit, mm -hmm. so you always have a gorilla suit if you need one for a fancy dress party or uh, yeah. some other occasion. Um, and you uh, help the gorilla organisation in its work in, um, in, in Africa.